everyone wants to go green or be better at it, right? I well, want, and I want some green, too. <laughs> that, too. Why not? It can save you money, speaking of that kind of green, and it's good for the environment. Since today is Energy Efficiency Day, Tiffany Craig takes us to the woodlands where they're conserving in a big way, and they've got some tips to help you save at home. Surrounded by nature, this gray and orange building houses a nonprofit, HARC, Houston Advanced Research Center. But really, you could paint this thing green. It's the first net zero building in Texas. What does that mean? Let's find out. We get the skinny from Carlos Gamara, also known as HARC's energy police. A net zero building is the building that produces more power on site than it consumes on site. A dashboard keeps up with usage, and so does Carlos. He's plugged into everything, including the coffee pots. Hark had two, Carlos retired one. Each of them using as much power as, as three computers on a standby, like for 14 hours a day. And you said, no, enough at, of that. At some point, when we were looking into the energy efficiency of the building, we identified that as one of the energy wastes. The lights are motion activated, the plugs are on timers, and all employees keep usage down. It wasn't as hard as people think it is. I think a lot of people get nervous about when you talk about efficiency and technologies. Gavin Dillingham, the kid who started a recycling program in seventh grade, now heads Hark's energy team and has some take home tips. Unplug unused appliances, use natural light when you can, switch to LED bulbs, Make sure you have good insulation and use caulk, weather stripping, and outlet cover plates. As for what heats and cools this building, ground source heat pumps. This is the outlet and the inlet pipe. It's a closed loop water system that cycles heat from ambient air in the building to wells outside and vice versa. The wells for the geothermal system are all underground. They're actually under the parking lot, 350 feet down. Since we're outside, there's more to check out. We're doing the 25 foot climb to show you the biggest energy saver of all, solar panels. We have over 250 panels producing around 350 watts each. These panels produce so much, Hart gives back to the power grid. Translation, a much lighter carbon footprint. Tiffany Craig, KHOU 11 News. Saving the planet, too. Well, the EPA says 30% of energy used in commercial buildings is wasted. That's why some companies are looking to hark for conservation ideas. So